expose the defense with this glitchy offensive play coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and skis I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Or so guys, if you know my channel, make sure to subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I was in the lab checking out the Dolphins playbook per a Patreon request. I uh, stumbled on this play, the gun, uh, the gun doubles fade halfback wheel. Uh, this actually is similar to the halfback shark uh, play uh, out of the gun doubles, but it's got a better setup because off the left-hand side, you've got a fade smash concept, which actually gives you some pretty good uh, opportunities to go ahead and stretch the ball deep um, off to the left-hand side. Now, in the lab, um, and I did this previous in previous Maddens, I discovered that the tight end, in certain zone coverages, cover two and cover three in particular will be completely uncovered in the middle of the seam. So your opponent will have to use her that if he's going to be using cover two or cover three against you unless he puts any kind of special zones out there. So this is a good play. This is a money play that you can put in your backyard, uh, back pocket, say in a third and long situation, th third and 15, third and 12. If he's playing a lot of cover two and you're struggling against it, you can jump into this because the zone don't play it correctly. Now I've, you can always you can get this out of the doubles, but uh, out of the uh, the Dolphins playbook. But you also have the Patriots and Chargers. I'm sure there's other variations of this play in other playbooks. So you want to take a look at that. And I'm gonna run this against cover two coverages. Now I want you to go ahead and take a look at the tight end and watch what happens. Nobody covers him. I'm picking up a good 20 yards on that. For some particular reason, the way this play is designed uh, is that uh, against cover two coverage. The defenders don't play the zone correctly. They go out to the flats, and that lane will be wide open. So you can do this a couple times against your opponent. Any smart opponent essentially will go ahead and use that and take it away. But what's great about this particular play is that you have a cover two beater on the opposite side against your opponent off the left-hand side with the fade smash concept. Now, what I like to do, uh, the way this play is stock, you've got a little hitch route and then you have the, the, the fade route. I like to go ahead and take that outside receiver good one and put him on a whip route. The reason I put him on a whip is that it forces the, the, the defender on the flat uh, on, on the left hand side play his club flat, his uh, hard flat, and that should open up the lane uh, for uh, Sanders. So let's go ahead and see if we get that action we do. And now what's going to happen is you're going to be able to go and attack your opponent in two different areas of the field that he really can't defend against. So let's just go show you how you can basically destroy cover two with this particular play. So once again, tight ends wide open. He's going to have to manually defend that, or he's going to be giving up 15, 20 yards. And then on the backhand side, with this whip fade concept that I, that, that I show you, is that you can hit the sideline for another 20 yards or more if you rack it correctly and turn it up. So another adjustment that you can do is you can go ahead and drag up Sanders and streak up Kittle. And you have a concept where you can actually beat cover two off the backhand side. So watch this right here. And now you've got the other side of the field too. So. If you got a guy that's running cover two, you're going to be able to go and attack him in the middle of the field, off the left, off to the right, and I'm not even I'm not even considering the crossing routes are going over the middle of the field. So this is going to completely cover a destroy cover two for you. Now what about against cover three? Well, pretty much cover three, you're still going to get those those passing lanes that you can go and attack. So you can see that the defender floated up. That dig route on the back and set will be will be wide open. Or what's going to happen is that no one is going to play that seam, and you can actually go and pop that for a fast read. Still user territory, so cover three is, is going to play this a little bit funkier for you. Um, on the back end side, we've got the smash concept and the out, and you can go and pop that route uh, or just drop it down to the, to the little whip rod off the back end side. So, this, this play will pretty much destroy um, a lot of coverages in, in the game. So right there, the dig route available for you. Uh, pretty much, uh, you, you can't lock this play up uh, with the way it's set up. So let's just go ahead and pop this one more time. So dig route, wide open, no defender right there. So you can actually do that. So uh, what I like about it is that it's got a lot of flexibility. And once you start playing with it a little bit, it's gonna provide you high lows, 
Let's see, we've got this play right here. We're gonna go ahead and check it down to this route, harass our opponent with it against cover three. What if you're planning against someone that actually uses the dreaded cover four drop show two defense? Well, once again, you're still gonna be able to get an uh, opportunity to go ahead and complete the ball. The seam is gonna be taken away, but what happens with this is that you've got that dig route. If you anticipate the throw and throw it um, right before it's cut, uh, you'll be able to get um, into an area of the field. Uh, so watch, so we're gonna go ahead and, and throw it early, and then you, that's a going against one of the, like an all-star player and, and Von Miller, so he doesn't react to it very well. Another thing you got too is you've also got that that smash whip route concept and uh, what happens is defenders are not going to they're going to have to choose whether they're going to play that whip route or the fade route so you can still stretch your uh, stretch the ball against your opponent with this and he's going to have to start doing some manual adjustments to go and take this away um, this play is not really great against man coverages uh, um, man blitzes and stuff like that because first and foremost you're sending out five players so you're going to have to max protect Sanders rod if you got a burner of a wide receiver can't break over the top with man coverages but if you got a guy that's playing a lot of man coverage a lot of man blitzes I probably wouldn't use this play because you're blocking five you're probably gonna get yourself in some bad situations and some of these these routes do take some time to develop so guys if you do like these type of tips make sure you go ahead and smash that like button and I'll be rolling rolling out more offensive defense, defensive tips to take your game to the next level so once again I'm a subscribers and my patreon sake for support and until next time